All right, YouTube, it's the second day of November 2012, and I uploaded a video earlier today that was showing the chaos that's going on in New York City and New Jersey. The long lines at the gas station, and there's no gas. The fists are flying, and people are pulling guns. There's looting taking place. And then I showed how people are diving in dumpsters looking for something to eat. And I got a lot of comments on my video, and some were that, this really isn't taking place. It's only a Category 1 hurricane, but it's just media hype. Well, I've got someone on the line right in the heart of the situation, right from New Jersey, and she's going to tell you what is really going on. And now parts of New Jersey is under martial law. And without uh, any further delay, let's, let's find out what's really taking place. Hello? Hi, hi, Pastor Dave. Thanks for calling. Um, well, I uh, want to say that I'm in northern New Jersey. I'm not at the coastline, um, about uh, 90 miles from the coast. I'm in um, uh, Bergen County. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh, also, I, I spent, um, I packed up a Sunday last week, and I went to the home of friends in an entirely different county. I went to, I went west. I went to Morris County. Yeah. And uh, that is 30 minutes away from uh, Bergen County, which would say, I would say that could be 45 minutes away from New York City. And uh, we placed ourselves there in their home, and Sandy was for a uh, I was outside uh, in a very secure on their front, uh, front entrance area, and I watched uh, the wind. I was out there uh, in and out all day. It was incredible. Trees were ripped right out of the earth. I, I mean, devastation like I've never seen in my life. I've lived here my entire life. And um, the, the entire of uh, Morris County was pretty much devastated. And I could only have imagined my county, Bergen County, what that might have looked like. And I thought to myself, I better go back to my condominium on Tuesday. Uh, of course, we lost power, we lost cable, we lost cell phones. We were in the cold, we were in the dark. I had uh, a generator and, it just worked, um, it worked well, but we had no gas, we couldn't right. get any gas, uh, we had no radio, we don't know what's going on, we can't see pictures, we, we don't even know, we have no idea. So uh, we got in my, in my car, and we headed down to Bergen County, 30 minutes away, to get, I left some jewelry uh, behind in my condo, and I know that's not smart, and I went into my building, it's totally black, I mean, it, my, my town, the city I live in is devastated, it's just Bergen County is devastating. There's no power. There's no cell. There's no gas. There's nothing. The stores, there are no stores. I mean, closed. No gas stations. Um, everybody's waiting online today for gas. I I waited online for gas. Uh, everybody's on edge. There's like everybody's like starting to argue. Uh, one guy at the gas station dropped the gas pump. The gas flooded the entire gas station. Oh my goodness. Yeah, pumping. Yeah, yeah, pumping all over the gas station. There were at least 30 cars. This is a huge rest stop on Garden State Parkway. I mean, I just ran away. I, I ran 100 feet back because the gas was coming out. I was freaking out. Uh, there, I have seen no electric trucks at all, not in Morris County, and then not in Bergen County. I see no electric trucks on the roads. I'm getting text messages today from friends in Pacific County who see no electric trucks. We don't know why we see no electric trucks fixing the poles, fixing the wires. Wow. We have no idea what's going on. No, listen to me. This, this is the first part of my life that I am seeing major intersections in a major city in northern New Jersey without police directing traffic. I see no police on the road. I see no police. It, it's almost happen? like they want this to happen, isn't it? It is exactly like that. I'm telling you, they've left us totally alone. Hey, you know what? That's fine. We don't want them here. Because guess what? People, elderly people need food. Elderly yeah. people need water. Elderly people need warmth. I don't see Red Cross. I don't see FEMA. Not that we care. I don't see anybody here. The president came to New Jersey. He said that FEMA was coming to New Jersey. He said DHS was coming to New Jersey. He said National Guard were in Hoboken, New Jersey. I don't know if the whole, uh, National Guard made it to Hoboken. I can't see the media. I don't know. So no one on the state or the federal level are coming to anyone's help or anyone's aid at all. It's kind of like they want this 
to happen. They want things to tempers to flare and things to get out of control. I think so because what's today? Friday. Okay, so really, Sandy hit on Monday. Uh, Tuesday was total devastation. Nobody was moving around. I drove 30 minutes back to Burton County to get my jewelry out of my blackened apartment where I figured they're going to loot. They're going to start looting in the city I live in because I live in a city, not a town. Right. And the fact of the matter is, I'm back in that city now. I left Morris County yesterday. I came back to Burton County. I spent the night alone in my apartment, freezing, of course. Now, this is New Jersey, New, New Jersey, right? I'm in, I'm in northern New Jersey. Northern New Jersey, okay. I am uh, 25, I've got uh, 20 minutes from Hoboken. Okay. I used to take the path. Uh, I, used to take the, I used to take the train to Hoboken every day to go to that and go to work. Uh, so I'm very familiar with all these areas. I'm very familiar with these I, I, I spent many summers down on the boardwalk. So, I mean, we lost the boardwalk. I know that. These people lost their homes. I, I am not, I'm not in Southern Jersey. I'm in Northern Jersey. And I'm letting you know that whatever I heard on the radio from my car radio, because it's the only radio I've got is in the car, right. I hear that Seaside Heights is gone, it's devastated, the boardwalk's gone, the lights we used to, I mean, I hear all the homes are, I heard there were fires in Breezy Point, New York. Seaside, uh, Seaside Heights and, and surrounding towns in that area, I just uploaded a video. I know you have no internet, you're not going to be able to see that where now they've declared martial law. And I believe martial law is going to spread, and that's the plan. That's what they want. Wow. Okay, I believe that. Um, I'll tell you, uh, I haven't seen any National Guard here or any troops here in Burton County. Uh, but uh, when I do, I have your number. I'll let you know. I'll call you. Please let me do. Say this. I just got my cell signal back last night. I called ATG so many times, and they didn't know what was going on. ATG wires did not know. They said, ma'am, they told me yesterday, I finally got through them on one, on two bars. They said, we're not sure what's going on. I said, do you realize that I've heard Verizon cell phones are working, but ATG right. are not. Now, was ATG targeted? I don't know. Well, that's, that's a good point. I mean, ATG, I remember, I used to work for ATG, and I remember a long time ago, um, ATG went bankrupt, and Verizon was, uh, the heck out of it in the market. So I wonder if Verizon put up a little bit more money than uh, AT&T. And I have no idea. I mean, that's a conspiracy theory, I guess. But the point is, I have never seen anything like this. This is an affluent county. Uh, Bergen is affluent. Mars is affluent. You would think that they would have gotten their act together, the city here. Now, because this is the county seat, the city I'm in, for Bergen. There's not that even police. There are no so there's no police, you don't see, you don't see any police, you don't see any National Guard, no one coming to anyone's help, no, no one coming to anyone's aid. But we are on the honor system, we have no, we have no traffic lights, people are just trying to do their best, they're getting, I was in, there's one store that's open, we went there for food, people were all over the place, they 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 were they were yelling, they were fighting, they mm. were pushing, they were shoving. I go to the gas station, it's miles and miles and miles long. There are no gas stations open, there's no power anywhere. We are in the dark. I finally reached the electric company today. I was able to get a cell signal out, and they told me it's going to take until November 11th. Oh, my goodness. I was going to take 1-11-11-12. Mm. That's an interesting day. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Why are they pushing that data? I don't know. A lot of these, uh, what people call conspiracy theories, I think, is no longer a conspiracy. I think it's pretty much a fact of what's going on now. And we can see the hidden agenda behind that. all of this. I mean, I we've, got the, we've got the president. He's under. He's in some hot water over the whole Benghazi uh, uh, thing in Libya with the uh, U.S. ambassador to Libya and the... They call, they're calling for help, and no help coming in, and they were told to stand down. And now, I guess, in Florida, they've got, uh, uh, they're, they're bringing charges uh, against Barack Obama. And, you know, the election's only a couple of days away. Right, but I don't know. I, don't have, I haven't had any news since Sunday. Right. I, I have no internet. I have nothing. I, I have no idea what's going on at all now with that issue. I can only tell you that this is a major distraction. I'm sure of it. And I heard Obama was in New Jersey. What did he do here? Yeah, he came by, I think, trying to uh, just put his face out there um, just for votes, you know. Well, I, I, I guess maybe 
they're helping those people down the beach area who are all broken. But I don't know. I've not seen any media that tells me. I heard that the National Guard were going to Hoboken. Is that true? Did they go? I don't know. I haven't been able to confirm that, so I'm not really sure. Well, I heard that yesterday from my car radio. I was able to sit in my car and warm up my feet and listen to the radio, and I heard that they dispatched the National Guard on FEMA to Hoboken, New Jersey, because Hoboken got flooded on the Hudson River. I'm sure that's the agenda. I mean, the, behind the New World Order agenda is to bring out uh, the military and the National Guard and to bring them into all areas of New Jersey and New York. And I think that's probably the, the master scheme or master plan. And that's why I pray that uh, people would just come together instead of uh, having tempers flare. And that's what they want. They want uh, civil unrest and they want to bring in the National Guard and the military and they want to implement martial law. And it looks like that's what they're doing. I have, I gotta be honest though, I have not seen anything between people that's really egregious at all. I mean, people are getting a little edgy, but they were all only four days, five days, five days in. Right. Uh, in about another, you know, another five days without power, people are cold, people are hungry, people are having shower and whatever. I think people are getting even edgier. Right around election time, huh? Where they will have to cancel I, the election. I, I heard on the radio from my car, that in New Jersey, they're going to mail ballots to people? I heard that, too, and I didn't bring this story out. I also heard that the National Guard is going to have mobile uh, units where people can go to the, the National Guard trucks and, and vote. Right. I, I didn't want to bring it out because I can't confirm that, but I mean... That, you know, Pastor Dave, I heard exactly that on uh, CBS AM radio from my car. I heard right. that. But well, I haven't seen any National Guard units here. But you can confirm that the, I know you couldn't see the video I did earlier, because a lot of people were saying it's just media hype and there's no uh, chaos going on, and it was only a Category 1 hurricane. So you can confirm that things are really bad. You're actually in the dark. You can't even get on the Internet or get news only well, from uh, a radio. Today, huh? today, anything can go on anywhere in the world. Enough people here in this part of New Jersey, northern New Jersey, wouldn't know what's going on anywhere. We are literally in a blackout. The only thing we have is what the mainstream media is feeding on radio from our cars. Right. Well, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your time, and I want to keep you in, in my prayers, and I know all my viewers are going to lift you up in prayer, and all the people affected by the storm. And thank you so much uh, for this interview. Oh, sure. No problem. All right. Thank you. God bless. Okay, thank you, thank you.